Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and I'm back with another weekly video. Um, to start off, we'll go, or we'll start off with the indices as usual. Start off with the uh, SPY. Okay, actually, let's take a look at the daily chart first. So, really good action, right? The the major trend has been uh, holding so far. We actually haven't even tested it recently. There, I thought when we pulled back here, there could be a possibility that we come back down to test it. But uh, the market is so strong right now that bulls, or bulls were able to bounce back pretty much immediately, right? And we actually did make uh, new uh, highs, new 52-week highs just uh, on last Friday, right? So this is really good action. Um, and bulls are very clearly in control of the market right now, right? Um, but let's take a look at the weekly chart. So yeah, we formed a nice little flag here and then we broke out just last week. I was expecting more consolidation and I thought more consolidation would be a good thing since we we did make such a big move, right? Um, the last couple of weeks we had one, two, three, four, five green weeks in a row. So I was thinking more consolidation would be good, but we are breaking out right away. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Next target is 453. But there is again still a chance that we could go sideways for a while for a while. But yeah, we'll see what happens. But overall, really good action. And yeah, next target is 453. Now we'll take a look at QQQ. So same thing for the QQQ, building a nice little bull flag here. And then we broke out last week. And we're back at this uh, 370 resistance level. And this is a key resistance level, right? So there's a good chance that we could go sideways for a couple more weeks. But yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, QQQ as a, is at a key resistance level while SPY, while SPY still has room, right? It still has room to 453. So the SPY uh, could be stronger than QQQ for the uh, upcoming week. So that's something to keep in mind tech might be weaker just because it's run up so much already that it might needs to take more for rest before the next leg up but overall still really good action from tech um yeah let's take a look at the daily chart you know this yeah i was building a nice flag here and then it broke out and uh yeah tried to break that 370 level not the greatest close on Friday, but still not bad at all. But yeah, overall, really good action. And uh, we'll see if we can take that 370 level out uh, next week. But uh, yeah, now we'll take a look at some individual big cap tech stocks. Starting off with Apple, the strongest stock in the market right now. The stock's absolutely insane, right? This one just keeps going higher and higher. No, no stops at all. It's getting really extended now, so... Because, yeah, it really hasn't pulled back at all since 156, right? This was the first real pullback. And then a uh, really strong rally, consolidation, really strong rally, some consolidation. Now it's just been rallying the last uh, couple weeks, right? So really, really strong move from Apple. And I think it would be good for it to go sideways for a while, just so other stocks can catch up too. But, yeah. A lot of money is definitely pouring into Apple, and you definitely shouldn't be looking to short it. Um, but yes, yeah, next psychological or next resistance level should be at 200 because that's a psychological level. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Overall, really good action from Apple. Next up, we'll take a look at AMD. So AMD has been uh, acting a little bit better, right? Before it was showing a lot of weakness. It um, Pretty basically filled the gap while other semiconductor names like NVIDIA were holding up well but this one pulled back in pretty hard but now it's getting a nice bounce off that support level so yeah we'll see what happens let me remove these lines so here are the key levels this is resistance and this is support those are the key levels for AMD and then there's also another level here it had some trouble it had uh, trouble breaking out and then it finally broke out um, so 111 is also a new support level for AMD. But yeah, these are the key levels. If it can get above 117, then there's a good chance that we could rally a lot higher. But if we get below this 111, 
and then there's a good chance that we could consolidate between this range and if we lose 107 then there's a good chance we could drop a lot lower but yeah those are the key levels for amd next up we'll take a look at amazon so amazon's been uh forming a pretty nice flag pattern here had a really nice rally now it's starting to go sideways and tighten up so really really good action i think this one's ready for a break at 2137 but yeah we could see a couple more days of consolidation and then i think there's a good chance that we can break out to 137 um but yeah overall really good action from amazon next up we'll take a look at google so google actually came down to 119 last week and then we got a bounce off it 119 is a pretty actually let me let me remove these i think the more accurate resistance level or support level would be 118 and then there's some resistance over here so right now google's between this range and we'll see what happens there's also a downtrend line right there right so if we can break this we tried to break on friday but really we close but if we couldn't get a strong upward above this trend line then that would be a good sign and google could see it move back to 127 but um yeah overall google's also acting pretty well it tends to consolidate for a while like look at this right uh So this is how Google typically moves. It tends to consolidate for a while, tighten up, tighten up, tighten up, and then break out. So now we're doing the same thing. We're, we're, we're forming a new base here. And uh, once we get uh, back to the 127 level, we could start seeing a flag form and then uh, tighten up and then potentially break out for the next leg up. But right now, uh, Google looks like it needs more rest. Uh, best case scenario, it, makes, it forms a strong um, candle next week, and then we see a pushback to 127 but yeah overall pretty good action from google as long as that 118 level is holding that would be bullish take a look at meta next let me remove these lines so meta also has been acting really really well clear trend line there right and then um it's been it's been trying to break this 290 level for a while but keeps rejecting but we're tightening up here and uh yeah we're getting pretty close right to tightening up fully and then getting to the end of this flag and then we could potentially see a big breakout or big breakdown but overall really good action from meta um yeah if, if we are able to break that then has all the way room to 305 so so overall really good action i think and i think we can see a breakout here as long as, as long as the market can hold up um but yeah really good action from meta as well microsoft let's go to the weekly chart for, for microsoft so clear resistance at that 344 level this was the previous all-time highs and we were able to break that two weeks ago, or yeah, about three weeks ago now. Um, and we were able to break that, but we ended up closing below that level. And for the last couple of weeks, we've just been consolidating right under that level, right? And now we're forming a bull flag here. So this is actually really good action on the weekly chart. Um, but yeah, we could see a couple more weeks of consolidation and then tighten up more. Um, so currently, there's a little flag forming, right? tighten up more tighten up or consolidate and tighten up more and then we could see a big breakout but yeah really good action from microsoft as well next up netflix actually let's go to the weekly for this one so netflix had a really powerful rally off the lows it's made a really incredible run this year so far uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six up weeks in a row. And then last week we got a consolidation bar and now another consolidation bar. But this one's actually a pretty strong week. Uh, or last week was actually pretty strong. We closed pretty strong. But again, we go sideways for a couple more weeks, wait for this trend line to catch up, go sideways. As long as that 420 level holds, then it would be bullish. But yeah, overall, really good action from Netflix. But if we do continue to 
um, move higher, then the next target would be 475. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Netflix. Um, Nvidia had a really nice setup on uh, Friday, right? So this one, um, so this was the first setup on Nvidia. After the gap up, uh, we were forming a flag here and then it broke out on this day and that was when you should be buying it. Then it made a pretty nice rally. And now it pulled back in pretty hard and uh, it formed a very clear downtrend line and it was consolidating under that for a couple of days. And then on Friday, it broke above that and that was a clear buy signal. So right now, I think NVIDIA has uh, room to go back to 440, previous all-time highs. There's no real resistance here, so yeah, NVIDIA could really power a lot higher, right? We've seen what Apple could do, or what, what Apple has done. So based on what Apple has done, uh, I'm, uh, I have no doubt that I have no doubts that NVIDIA could run higher and higher. I think there's a good chance that we could even see 500 this year, but uh, I don't really like to predict stuff, right? I just like to follow price and uh, follow price and adjust accordingly. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, but NVIDIA is definitely acting really, really strong. Um, next up, Tesla. So Tesla has been acting really well recently as well. This one's actually forming a really nice uh, uh, flag on the weekly. So there's pretty clear resistance at that 263 level. Um, this was prior resistance and we broke above that. And now we rallied pretty hard, right? We rallied one, two, three, four, five weeks up in a row. Then we tried to break out again, but we got really extended. Then we pulled back in pretty hard. And then this week, it was another consolidation bar right below that 263 level. So next week we'll see if that if we can take that level out, and if we can, then the next target would be three ten. But yeah, really good action on uh, Tesla. Now we'll take a look at ARKK, how growth stocks are doing. So growth stocks are doing pretty well. Uh, they had a pretty nice uh, rally uh, last week, and we are holding that uh, trend line so far. And now we're also forming a pull flag here, so we'll see what happens. If we can clear that bull flag, then we could see a much, much bigger move, right? Just a reminder of how beaten down our growth names are. So, yeah, if this uh, rally really starts, then we could see a really, really big move. I'm talking double, triple, right? Uh, or see a 100%, 200% move. So, um, definitely a lot of room or definitely a lot of potential on these names. So, yeah, definitely keeping this one on watch. Um, now we'll take a look at some of the some good setups for the coming week so brze this is a relatively new name not a lot of people know this one it ipo'd uh last uh i think it was in 21 21 december but yeah uh so what i really like about the stock is the weekly volume had a really nice uh move on earnings and now it's been consolidating for the last two weeks and then on last week it finally broke that bull flag so we'll see if we can get more continuation but this one really has no resistance still uh that 50 level 51 level so yeah this one has a good amount of upside and then on the daily chart this is the flag that i'm seeing they're not flag but if we can clear that 44 level good chance that we could power higher but yeah overall really good action on this one and something that i'm currently watching next up GLBE. Uh, let me take this off. So this one had a really nice rally. I really like the volume here, right? Look at the green volume bars and look at the red ones. The green ones are obviously dominating and that's a sign that institutions are buying into the stock. But yeah, overall this one's uh, this one's been building a base for since last August, right? So it's been building a base for a while and we finally are breaking out successfully now. And uh, this one has a lot of upside potential uh, first major resistance level is that 52.5 level so this one definitely has a lot of room to the upside and yeah definitely keeping an eye on this one and then last but not least for this week we'll take a look at Mara so Bitcoin has been acting really well recently and this one has been uh, 
following Bitcoin pretty well. So really nice uh, trend starting here. So Mara has been consolidating consolidating for a while and then we finally got a really big break breakout with really big volume. And ever since then, we've been just slowly trending higher and higher, right? So this one's definitely one that you want to keep an eye on. And I'm looking for a dip to 13 uh, around $13. If I can get a dip there, then I think that would be a good entry point. And uh, the risk reward is uh, tremendous here, right? Look how beaten down this name is, right? So yeah, if I can get a buy at 15, then uh, I mean, if I can get a buy at 13, the next major target would be, or yeah, first major support or resistance level is 19.5. So this one has a lot of upside potential. And that's just the first target. So yeah, definitely keeping an eye on this one. Um, yeah, I really like the volume last week as well. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Yeah, the last two weeks has just been having tremendous volume. So definitely keeping my eye on this one. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.